Season 11 of The Curse of Oak Island is a historical roller coaster, and we've got the behind the scenes scoop that will have you on the edge of your seat. Ever wondered about the secrets lurking beneath the mysterious Lot 5 or the groundbreaking discoveries that could rewrite history? Well, get ready for an adventure that takes you from Roman coins to Tudor treasures, all while potentially connecting Oak Island to the mysterious Knights Templar. In this exclusive behind the scenes look, We'll unravel the captivating tales of redware mysteries, underwater expeditions, and coins from across the globe. Did the team uncover evidence tying Oak Island to the ancient Roman Empire? Could there be a connection to the legendary Knights Templar, the shadowy figures behind countless conspiracy theories? Join us as we dissect the discoveries, analyze the artifacts, and delve into the theories that could finally unlock the secrets of Oak Island. The Curse of Oak Island is a reality TV saga that's been unraveling mysteries since January 6, 2014, and is still going strong with its 11th season, which premiered on November 7, 2023. Meet the dynamic duo at the helm, brothers Marty and Rick Lagina, hailing from Kingsford, Michigan. These treasure hunting experts lead a diverse team on a quest to unearth legendary treasures or historical artifacts rumored to be hidden on Oak Island. The show goes deeply into the island's history, recent discoveries, bizarre speculations, and past investigations, making it an endless source of mystery. To add an extra layer of intrigue, the show introduced Behind the Dig in its sixth season. This series within a series, hosted by Maddie Blake, takes viewers behind the scenes, offering a glimpse into the nitty-gritty of the treasure hunt. The Lagina brothers and the Oak Island team spill the beans on the processes, challenges, and surprises that come with their quest for the ultimate discovery. As the curse of Oak Island gears up for its impressive 10-year anniversary, Rick and Marty Lagina are still on the hunt for that elusive treasure. Season 10 wrapped up in early 2023, leaving fans on the edge of their seats with discoveries near a mysterious garden shaft. Now, with the promise of more secrets to unveil, all were eagerly awaiting season 11. Guess what? The wait is not gonna be a marathon. The new season dropped on recently, and it's shaping up to be a historical roller coaster. Now let's talk about the goodies awaiting us in season 11. If the past is any indication, we're in for a wild ride. The Lagina brothers have a knack for unearthing unexpected treasures, and this season promises no less. What could be hidden in that mysterious garden shaft? The anticipation is killing us. And here's a fun fact for you. Did you know The Curse of Oak Island has been captivating audiences for a decade? It's like the longest running treasure hunt in TV history, and we're still hooked. As we gear up for season 11, there's a solid way to kill time. Revisit the nail-biting moments from the previous seasons. It's like rereading your favorite book before the next one comes out. Now let's address the elephant in the room. While The Curse of Oak Island is making a triumphant return, its sidekick beyond Oak Island seems to be playing hide-and-seek. Season 3 wrapped up early in 2023, and the big question mark hangs over its future. Will it get the green light for another season? Your guess is as good as ours, so let's keep our fingers crossed and our expectations in check. Season 11, Episode 1. On the Money was like opening a centuries-old trunk of mysteries. We're talking about secret orders, shady British adventurers, and coins from an unknown country. It's like putting on your detective hat for a real-life treasure hunt, with the Laginas leading the charge. Now, let's roll up our sleeves and dive into the nitty-gritty of this archaeological adventure. The team, led by the ever-impressive Laird Niven, decided to unravel the mysteries hidden in Lot 5. Just try to imagine a circular depression in the middle of nowhere, holding clues that could date back to the early 1600s. It's like a time capsule waiting to spill its beans. The late owner, Robert Young, left his mark on the place. But the team suspects he might have just added his touch to an age-old project. They're on the hunt for a foundational wall that could prove this depression is no natural occurrence, but a legit man-made structure from way before the 1760s. And here comes the plot twist. While sifting through rocks young left behind, archaeologist Jamie Kuba and Fiona Steele stumbled upon something big. Red earthenware, or as they call it, redware, stole the spotlight. Forget stoneware, redware was the pottery of choice in Europe and North America from the 17th to the 18th centuries. 
It's like finding a vintage artifact in your grandma's attic, but on a whole new level. In the latest episode, Laird Niven uncovered a redware shard that's got everyone scratching their heads. Imagine a purple and black glaze that Niven calls unusual. It's like finding a missing piece to a puzzle that's been stumping experts for centuries. When even the seasoned archaeologists are puzzled, you know it's a big deal. Niven spills the beans to producer Jack Begley, saying, When we can't recognize the time period, we immediately wonder if it's earlier. This redware isn't just any old pottery. It's a time-traveling artifact from the 1600s, according to Niven. That's right. Possibly before the discovery of the money pit, even Rick Lagina, the guy in charge of this treasure hunt, finds himself scratching his head in wonder. But wait, there's more. In Lot 5, while the dirt detectives are playing Sherlock, another crew, under the direction of geologist Terry Matheson, uses the sonic drill to reach the garden shaft. It resembles an advanced treasure hunting machine. Now for the fun part, first impressions are positive. There is a soft area at 109 feet, which may be a sign of the original money pit. It's almost like a victory dance for Alex Lagina and historian Charles Barkhouse. However, just when we thought the treasure was in sight, hopes are dashed at 119 feet. When it's all hard sediment and limestone, the disappointment is real. But hold on, cause there's a twist in the tail. Another borehole, DN12, at 97.5 feet hits the treasure zone and uncovers evidence of a collapsed chamber. It's like a roller coaster of emotions, from excitement to disappointment and back to hope. Following the Redware discovery, the archaeological team uses metal detectors to find a mysterious metal object at Lot 5. The master of speculation, Marty Lagina, thinks that it could be a metal lock that opens a door to the Money Pit's mysteries, like unlocking a secret treasure vault with a key. Now, the excitement doesn't stop there. The team whisks the metal marvel to the interpretive center, where archaeometallurgist Emma Culligan performs a CT scan. Discovering what is beneath that firm structure feels like something from a mystery book. Our expert soil investigator, Laird Niven, recognizes it as a river spike, a multi-purpose instrument similar to a Swiss army knife. The plot twist. It's older than the 1840s, and that's only the very beginning of this extraordinary story. Niven drops a bombshell. He previously analyzed artifacts from the birthplace of Sir William Phipps, an English treasure hunter linked to a major Oak Island theory. Simplified version. Phipps allegedly hid the Oak Island treasure after snagging it from a sunken Spanish galleon. It's like being immersed in a historical drama, and Niven and Culligan steal the show by unveiling that this river spike aligns perfectly with the artifacts found at Phipps's birthplace. Connecting the dots between conspiracy and reality, Oak Island just got a whole lot more intriguing. Are we on the brink of uncovering the secret Sir William Phipps left behind? The Legina crew is turning Oak Island into a history mystery, and we're all hooked. While the team is busy turning Lot 5 upside down for metal treasures or drilling into the depths at DN12, Jack Begley and Alex Legina embark on an aquatic adventure with diver Tony Sampson and underwater guru Ken DeBoer. Their mission, to explore a body of water north of Oak Island, where rumors whisper of a man-made structure lurking beneath the waves. Now, due to the watchful eye of provincial regulations, Samson and DeBoer can't scoop up their underwater finds for a closer look, at least not yet. But what they do spot could be the key to unlocking Oak Island's secrets. Imagine this, a one-foot-long hand-carved timber plank hinting at the existence of a dam. Pottery adorned with mysterious blue designs, the remnants of a clay sailor's pipe, and hold your breath, what seems to be a coin. And not just any coin, it bears a striking resemblance to a 1,000-year-old Chinese coin found by Begley and Gary Drayton back in 2020, Season 8. It's a treasure hunt, but only underwater this time. Here's the plot twist. These underwater discoveries mirror objects found on solid ground, could this mean a shipwreck occurred nearby? Or are we witnessing the relics of settlers who once called Oak Island home? The possibilities are as deep as the waters they're exploring. You've probably heard whispers of the Knights Templar in dark corners of history, maybe in video games or even Nicolas Cage movies. Now fasten your seatbelts because the story gets more complicated 
as there appears to be a theory connecting these mysterious knights to the Oak Island Money Pit. In the latest twist, Marty Lagina and metal detection maestro Gary Drayton strike coin gold, literally. Remember that half of a coin they found a year ago in Lot 5? Well, they just hit the jackpot with two more. The first, dated between 100-300 AD, is like a time-traveling artifact from the Roman era. Hold your breath. The second one, over 2,000 years old, might just be the oldest coin ever unearthed on Oak Island. But wait, there's more. The Oak Island crew digs up two other coins, and here's where it gets wild. One's a British coin from the Tudor period, which is like the 1500s, possibly tying back to the Sir William Phipps theory. It's like a historical treasure hunt connecting the dots. The other, brace yourselves, a 6th, 7th, or 8th century Indian coin, the first of its kind to grace Oak Island soil. Now we've got Roman, English, Indian, and Chinese coins in the mix. Marty Lagina's got his detective hat on, theorizing that this ancient treasure might hold currency from all corners of the globe and various eras. Could this be the missing link to the Knights Templar? The ancient order that's been shrouded in mystery for ages? The plot intensifies, and the Oak Island saga just got a whole lot more intriguing. Are we on the brink of uncovering a treasure that transcends time and borders? The adventure continues, and Oak Island secrets are getting closer to the surface. Leave your thoughts in the comments section below, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching, we'll see you guys soon.